Hi everyone, so I just discovered the brand Mott and Bow, and more specifically Mott and Bow jeans. So I wanted to share with you today a very honest Mott and Bow jeans review and everything I think you should know about the brand. So I'm going to cover my favorite styles of Mott and Bow jeans, specifically their skinny jeans, because that's so hard to find a good fit, as well as my new favorite white jeans. How I think they fit, their quality, whether I think they're worth the money, their return policy, and everything else. So I've been putting out quite a lot of skinny jeans videos recently, whether it's our skinny jeans in style, skinny jeans outfits, but I really wanted some new skinny jeans that weren't ripped, but it's really hard to find skinny jeans that are a good fit, that are good quality, that are flattering, that are the right length, the list goes on. So Mott and Beau actually reached out to me. They'd seen my skinny jeans article and asked if I'd be interested in trying them. So of course, I'm always interested in trying new products to share with you, the good and the bad. So first off, Mott and Beau is known for its really good quality jeans, everyday essentials, kind of basic clothing, a really affordable price point. Mott and Beau have over 10 years experience. They launched back in 2014. They do various washes, various fits, and both men's and women's jeans. They do do a few other things. I like this white t-shirt, which honestly is so super soft. It's more fitted than a lot of styles I would normally go for, but I actually really like it. It's a little bit sheer. I mean, you can see my bra, but not so sheer. And I feel like white t-shirts are always kind of like that to be fair, but it's just so soft. But what I really like is they really, really are known for their denim. They don't really deviate much for that. And I feel like brands that really specialize in one thing, that's where you normally get the best quality and the best styles. So Mott and Beau are particularly known for their comfortable, flattering, skinny jeans fit. And it's kind of known as the denim science fit, but more on that later. So let's start with the pair I have on. So all of the blue skinny jeans I ordered are high-waisted. I just find that more flattering and elongating. So I'm going to start with their high-rise skinny Jane in a light blue. They're $119. So first off, I am so impressed with the fit from the waist, which is absolutely spot on, to the butt lifting, to the length. I ordered the 28 inseam. They also come in a 30. I went with a shorter because I feel like skinny jeans, I like a shorter inseam so that I can wear them with flats without needing to tailor them. And then I can also wear them with heels and you can kind of actually see the heels. And also if you want to wear them with knee high boots, there's less bulk when you're rolling them underneath. Again, if you're tall, it might not be long enough for you, but honestly, these fit like an absolute dream. So in the Jane, I actually had to size up to a size 25. So definitely read the description and there's nowhere to fit in the 24. The 25 was perfect. Versus the next style I'm going to put on the Beekman, which is 24. Vanity wise, I love being able to fit in a 24. I'd say it's my normal size I order. I will order up to a 25 in some jean styles like I had to the Jane. On their website, it does have very detailed information about the sizing and each style does kind of run slightly differently. So definitely read the sizing. One thing I noticed, if reviews for this brand are really good. The only thing sometimes is they say sizing can be inconsistent. So you can always order multiple sizes because that way just return them if they don't fit. It's a flat fee for the return shipping. So it doesn't really matter how many sizes and styles you order. They're probably gonna hate me for saying that, but I want you to have the best experience and not be stuck with a style that doesn't work for you. The wash is a really, really pretty wash. It's not too faded. I just feel like it's a really classic style. And then they have so much stretch. So like I said before, they're denim science fit. Sorry, I keep doing this with my hands. These have 35% stretch, so they feel really nice. And I feel like with a skinny jean, that stretch factor is really important. Another thing I really appreciate about Mott & Bow is they say the weight of the denim on each product. If you're looking for a lighter weight for the spring summer, if you're looking for a heavier weight. So these are a more heavy weight denim jean, which is really nice in a skinny jean. So I feel like the heavier weight they are, the less everything kind of bulges out. Construction wise, they feel really soft. You know, some denim can feel quite hard and stiff and have a real breaking in period. These right from the beginning, I'm like bending her way around here. I just want to show you, they're super flexible and they're super soft. So I really, really like that about them. And I actually can't believe the price of these. Like I said, these are $119. The pricing on their website for women's jeans runs from 119 to 139. Although they do have some really good sale deals for under $70. But these feel just as good as some of my designer jeans. I'm really impressed with the quality of them. A pro shopping tip for Mott & Beau is to buy the bundles. They are the best value. Once you know what size of jeans you want, 
They do bundles where you can buy a t-shirt and a couple of pairs of jeans. It brings the price down. It means you get free shipping. That's definitely the way to go if you're looking to save money. The other thing a lot of people might not notice until you start wearing them and that I love is that they don't have labels inside. You know, sometimes the labels at the back and they scratch you, especially when they're really snug fitted jeans. There is no label in here. There's a couple at the front, but in the back, instead of having their name on a big tag, it's printed on there. I just think that's a really nice detail that makes them a lot more comfortable. One other really nice detail is that they all have zipper flies. I cannot stand button flies. They're a nightmare, they take forever, they destroy your nails. These are all zipper flies, so another winning point. Another pair of Mottenbow high-rise skinny jeans. These are the Beekman. They're $119. Now the sizing is a bit different on these. Where I was sized up in the Jane, they were a 25. These are a 24 and they actually feel slightly bigger than the 25 in the Jane. 24 is as small as they come though, so if you need a smaller size, this brand isn't for you. However, I actually prefer these to the Jane. The reason being, they are even more flexible. Like I can squat down, they're not digging in anywhere. The waist, you know some skinny jeans, you feel like the life is being sucked out of you. These don't do that. There is so much give in them. In fact, so much give. I almost want to belt these. They're not digging into the crotch. And then I almost feel like the length on these is slightly better. They're 28 in inseam, they're the same, but they just feel like there's not as much excess material around the ankles. I really, really love the fit. I also think I prefer the color of these. It's a slightly darker, slightly more solid blue. It is a light medium blue versus the light blue. I just personally feel that makes them look slightly smarter and a very classic style. So these have 3% less stretch than the Jane Skinny Jeans, not a lot. They still have a 32% stretch factor. They're also a very similar weight, so they're still kind of that more heavyweight jean. And they also have the butt lifting, which I think is a really nice factor. So these so far out of the two between the Jane and the Beekman, I like the Beekman. These are the last Mott & Bow skinny jeans I'm going to share with you today. They're the high rise more skinny jeans in medium blue. Now these are the most expensive out of the three. They're only $10 more, they're $129. The first thing I noticed is how much smaller, I can almost size up in them, how much smaller than they were than the last two pairs of jeans, the 25 and the 24. They were definitely the truest skinny jean. I was like wiggling into them, trying to get my ankles through. They're also the longest. So I rolled this one up probably about an inch to get the right length. They're still a 28 inseam, but run a lot longer. This one is how the actual length is. So a lot longer. The color's really nice. It's a really nice blue. The stretch factor is still there. It has the 35% stretch. It just doesn't feel as soft a denim as the other two. It kind of feels, it's still soft, but it feels almost thicker, even though it's a lightweight denim. So if you're looking for a spring summer skinny jean, these are a lighter weight than the other two. I honestly can't feel the difference. Maybe if I was sat out in the sun and not stood inside in the air conditioning, I'd appreciate the difference. But these are definitely the darker wash if you're looking for a darker wash. The other difference on these is the stitching. This doesn't have the yellowy orange stitching. It has a tonal stitching. So if you want more of that low key, smarter look, I think you'll really like this pair. But I would consider ordering either your normal size or sizing up if you're in between sizes. I feel like these jeans might be more expensive than the others because the denim is slightly different. It has shape retention in, which is obviously really nice because it helps prevent them bagging at the knees. But if you're sat down a lot in them, they're not gonna stretch out in the knee area. So another really nice feature. And now I'm really torn because I really like all of them for different reasons. I liked the first one because I liked the light denim. I liked the fit. They were very soft. I think I preferred the color of the second pair of jeans and there were 24. So the vanity sizing in me is like, oh, I like the 24, not the 25. And I really liked how flexible they were, how kind of sculpting they were. These are nice if I want a true skinny jean, maybe one that I slide inside my knee high boots. So really, really slim line fit. And also if I don't want the orange stitching. If I had to choose just one pair so far though, I think it would be the Beekman jeans. So the cats are both here. They are just both very sleepy today for some reason and they're both sunbathing. So I'm just gonna let them live their best lives. I'm not gonna wake them up to join in. Give them probably an hour and they'll be up and awake and wanting dinner. So I already have white skinny jeans and they're so hard to pull off. So I wanted something a bit looser for summer, a little bit breezier. So these are the Mott & Bow Slim Straight Mercer jeans in bone. They do also come in beige, but I like white for summer. I don't really do beige, it just washes me out. So these ones are $119. So this is more of the low mid-rise jean. It's not the high-waisted jean, so much lower fit. It also comes in three inseam lengths versus 
two in a lot of the other styles. This comes in 28, 30, and 32. I like that because often with a wider fit jean, I would wear them over stiletto heels and I'd want them to be slightly longer. But I wanted a shorter pair for summer because I want something I can wear with flats for a very casual look in the daytime. So fit-wise, I actually feel like these are too big. There are 24 and they are almost too big. I know they need to be roomier and comfier. They're not a skinny jean, but they just feel a little bit too loose. So I'll definitely be belting them. And there's definitely room for eating gelato and pasta this summer. Stretch-wise, they're only 20% stretch versus the 35, 32% of the skinny jeans. In saying that though, I almost feel like there's more room to move because it's a looser fit. So that 20% stretch is still plenty of room to move. I mean, there's nothing you can't really do in them. A really, really lovely fit. Material-wise, they feel more of, do you remember I said that, less flexible, less soft, more rigid de denim? They're a little bit rougher. They're not as smooth. I'm not saying that they're rough and itchy. They're not at all. But they're just not that ultra smooth denim that the other ones were. Denim weight-wise, they are lightweight. They're only 10 ounces versus the 12, 12.5 ounces of the blue ones. So a really lovely pair of jeans for summer. And I actually love these. These might be my favorite white jeans. I know I, I wouldn't style them with a white t-shirt like this. It's just not my vibe. I might with the skinny jeans, but with this, I'd probably wear something more fitted because the bottoms are so loose. But the fit-wise is lovely. It's just a very comfortable, relaxed fit. Nothing's sticking in. It's comfortable. It's easy. It's breezy. It looks classic. There's no ripped on them. There's no fading on them. There's pockets. It's a zipper. Just a really lovely pair of white jeans. So when it comes to returns, you have 30 days from the date of delivery to ship them back. There is a $9 restocking fee if you send them back or a $5 if you use one of their happy shipping return places. However, what I thought was interesting is when it comes to refunds, you don't get refunded to your original payment method. It's either done as a gift card or an online credit. So that was one thing that I wasn't loving. But honestly, I don't need to return or exchange any of these. I love all of them. So overall, I am so impressed with Mott & Bow jeans. Every single pair fit to perfection. Yes, these are a little bit looser, but I kind of feel like that's the aesthetic, that's the style. It makes me a very comfortable pair of jeans to throw on for every day. The skinny jeans, when I followed the instructions, I sized up in that one pair, went my regular size in the others, all fit like an absolute dream, including the leg length. And for me, I'm five foot two, that is very difficult. And I have a butt for my bodybuilding and my ballet and thighs, so it can be very hard to find things. And then I have a smaller waist. These fit to perfection, so read the description, size up or order your normal size, depending on what it says. I think you'll be very, very happy with the fit because I've never ordered jeans before online, four pairs and had every single one fit. I mean, that is knocking it out of the park. Very, very impressed with that. I'm impressed with the quality for the price point. I thought that's outstanding. How comfortable they are, how flexible they are. I definitely recommend this jean brand. The only thing I would say, you have to be prepared for it to be an online credit and to do those exchanges rather than getting a refund. Mombo, unless I'm reading that incorrectly, but that's what I'm reading from their returns policy. So I'll link that below as well so you can read it for yourselves. See if you're understanding the same thing. I'm going to link everything I wore today from the jeans to the t-shirts in the description below. Honestly, I love this t-shirt. Such good value for money and if you get it as a bundle you make everything cheaper anyway if you have any video ideas for me let me know in the comments below if there's brands you want me to review if there's a trend you want me to review if there's outfit ideas drop them in the comments below oh and if you have tried this brand before and you have a particular style you like experience with sizing i love hearing from you let's really create a nice community on here thank you so much for watching if you like this video don't forget to give it a quick thumbs up and you know what to do subscribe